question here is, uh, what would you say about having a very big meal once a day, by having a cheat day once a week? Does that mean you have many big meals in that cheat day? I'm not sure. And uh, she's asking this because uh, that's what the doctor prescribed and she has lost seven and a half pounds. So the question, I guess, is, is that a good thing to do? Is it effective? There are many other diets as well, right? You've got your protein diet, you've got your intermittent fasting, you've got a whole lot of other things. So how do all these factors uh, help shape your fitness and eventually your purpose? Well, I work with dietitians quite regularly and um, I agree, I think having a very big meal once a day um, resonates, I think, with a lot of the dietitians here in Australia because the dietitians here, they provide possibly maybe one or two meals like that is substantially large in the whole day, but you have very small meals every two to three hours. And those small meals are usually like a, like a protein bar or a shake or salads. Um, and it's very essential to at least have the, the most important things in your diet, like your carbo, your protein, and also a lot of fluids within that. It helps with your independence. It helps with your fitness and helps you strive towards your purpose. It's, it's quite hard to get people to change their food habits, especially when they, they've always loved eating. And many yeah. Singaporeans are very passionate about eating. Eating is a national yeah. sport. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, think it's, uh, I think it's not about trending diets or cheat days. I think it's about a life of moderation. Uh, mm. you, you can have a lifetime of chakwe tiao if each time you eat chakwe tiao, it's a small portion. Yeah. And you, you try not to eat chakwe tiao, you know, five days a week, you eat it one day a week. Um, so it's, it's, it's about portion. And also, I think if you develop a community of friends uh, and eating together is proven to have health benefits for older people. If you eat together, you tend to have better appetite and diet. Um, if you meet a group of friends and you're sharing a plate of chakwe tiao, that's instantly a lot better than eating that chakwe tiao by yourself watching Netflix at home. Uh, so I, I don't think it's about not eating and stopping yourself, uh, restricting yourself. I think it's more uh, moderating how you eat, when you eat and who you eat yeah. with. Yeah, I will agree with that. I think you've got to find a way of eating that fits in with your lifestyle. But then again, it's also important to love the food that loves you back. Okay, so have more of that and less of the other stuff. And the idea of a cheat day to me sounds terrible. It's like, because you're going to be cheating yourself. I mean, why would you want to cheat yourself of anything? You know, it just sounds terrible. And then begs the question of coming back to your emotional health. Who is the boss of you, right? 